guy next to us, Brad Johansson, alongside Mike Babinski, the athletic director for the Xavier Musketeers. Can you shoot a free throw? Well, you know what? No, no worse than when I saw out there this first half. So <laughs> no I, question about that. It's got to get better, right? It, absolutely. I, I do like the fact that as poorly as we played offensively, being down only two, you've got to believe it's going to get a little better. Take me through the A-10 right now and what you've seen so far from the conference. Well, really like our two new additions, Butler and DCU. Both of them have done a really, really nice job. After we were fortunate enough to beat Butler here, they really got themselves straightened out and uh, you know, had a great win last night up at Northwestern. Had obviously beat Carolina out in Maui. ECU is, I, I think, a really a dangerous team. They play a style that's hard to deal with. So I, I really feel like the league is off to a off to a terrific start and has gotten, gotten some really notable wins along the way. You're in a new life this year. Yeah. You, you were preparing for the new life for several years, and now you are the chairman of the NCAA committee racking up the frequent flyer miles. Yeah. Take us through your holiday season and holiday tournaments. Well, the, the month of November, I think, in all honesty, I was in my office uh, five five full days here in, here in wow. Cincinnati. Been, been in a lot of different places, but it's been great. I, I've been was in Atlanta for the Champions Classic in Barclays Center in Brooklyn for the Legends Classic back in Madison Square Garden last week for the Jimmy V. Was in Anaheim with our team. Uh, have, have made the rounds an awful lot. And, uh, you know, when, you, when you're the chair, it's important to be to be visible, to be seen sure. at certain events. It'll it'll normalize here a little bit. In the, and, in fact, it has already this last week. But, uh, but it was a, a mad dash during the month of November and early December. But I really enjoyed it. Have seen some excellent teams. I think the field is... It, you know, it's, we don't have a Kentucky from last year. It's going to be a flatter field, but I'll, that'll make it fun. It'll be it'll be a great great selection process. In the anticipation of that, do you think it will be more difficult to select a field this year? I think it will be more interesting. Um, it's always difficult, no matter what anybody says. When you get down to the end and you're picking those last teams, there, there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of stress in the room, and it's never easy. And, and I don't presume it'll be any easier this year. I don't know that it'll be any harder. I think there may be more debate because it looks like the field is just more sort of muddled up around the middle there, but uh, but that'll make it fun. It'll I give, give plenty of people things to talk about. They've only got me 30 seconds, so I've got to yeah. ask. You're heading to U.S. Bank. Yeah. This is the last game before the, the classic, no yes. longer the shootout. Yes. Your feelings about heading to U.S. Bank for this one? You know, we're looking forward to it. It was a decision that we made jointly with the University of Cincinnati to give the game a brand new fresh start. Uh, we Everything has gone well to this point in terms of planning for it. Obviously, Cincinnati's got a heck of a team. Uh, they're off to a great start this season. It'll be a challenge. I look forward to, to being an intensely com competitive and, and fun night. I, I think it's going to be great. Uh, hopefully, the place will be full and, and jumping like we expect it to be and be a great night for the city of Cincinnati. We're looking forward to that and to get ready. Maybe a better second half here. I'm hoping for that. Mike Babinski, thanks so much for joining us. We've got